Now following up from this last lesson where we did our inverse selection, we saw that we created this nice little sunburst and it has this cool little effect here. And um, what I want to do is use this again and again. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to duplicate layers. Now duplicating layers can be done in a number of different capacities for a number of different reasons. All right, and I'll tell you just a couple of keyboard shortcuts you can do just to duplicate a layer right here on the layers panel itself. If you just hold on the alt or option key and just simply click and drag, notice now I have a duplicate layer. And you can do this for a number of different reasons. Maybe I wanted to have this just separate from the other one. Maybe I wanted to, you know, override them, you know, to kind of have like a nice cool effect like that. Maybe I was going to do like maybe a color overlay, which we're going to learn about in the future in future classes. You know, there's a lot you can do, but now I have two layers. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Another one you might see is if you right click and you're going to see here is duplicate layer. And then another keyboard shortcut a lot of people like to use is command or control J, J as in uh, jukebox or Julia. Okay, so um, just keep that in mind. There's a number of different ways you can duplicate and a number of different reasons you might want to duplicate. But that alt or option key and drag is really the one that I like to use the most. And once we start using like um, different effects, it's really going to be the same thing if you wanted to duplicate an effect as well. Um, and when you have an effect on there, you just do the alt or option and drag on that effect and you're going to drag it to the layer you want. So keep that in mind for a future class that we're going to do in a little bit. Okay, and then let's just say, for example, I want to duplicate it here on the layer itself. If I hold down the Alt or Option key, watch this. I just simply click and drag. And notice how right before I'm about to click, as I'm holding down the Alt or Option key, I get this little sort of twin, right, of the mouse, the little arrow saying, hey, you're about to duplicate something. I click and drag, and bam, there you have it. Let's go ahead and do it with the peppers, right? Alt click and drag. Now I've got duplicates of that whole image. So pretty cool. All right. Now, sometimes you might want to duplicate a layer so it can go to another document itself altogether. All right. So a couple of ways you can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just do it in a more kind of like manual way, which is just going to be clicking and dragging. This part can be a little bit weird at first, but it's pretty awesome once you start to get to it. You'll notice here, I have this little tab here of the file that I currently have open. You can see there's that guy right there from my Premiere class, shameless plug. And you can see, bam, there that is. And I want to move this little effect over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do very simply is click and drag it into that tab. And you might think to yourself, well, if I do that, then I'm going to lose it here on my original Peppers JPEG. Like, nope, you're not. Watch this. I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag, and it starts to move, right? And I think, oh, that's weird. But watch what happens now. As soon as I kind of get to this, right, I've kind of left the room, so to speak. I come back. I'm holding on my mouse, so I'm not letting go. And then, bam, I'm here. And then, holy cow, look at that. Okay? And if I go ahead and just, you know, drag that or whatever, you'll see that it's actually there still. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just undo that. Okay, but you can see how cool that is, right? I can even do this. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag this over to here and drag that in there. And you can see, wow, how that works. And it's just a simple click and drag to be able to do that. Now, sometimes you might want to do things in a more sort of like controlled way where you're going to um, name layers and you're going to, you know, just do a few things to be more precise about where you want to go. Or maybe this is not comfortable for you. Maybe this is not the way that your screen is set up. It's totally fine. So what I'm going to do is show you an alternative way. So again, if you right click and you go over to here to duplicate layer, notice it's the ellipsis after it. It's telling me that I'm going to get more options. So they're asking me here, yes, I want to duplicate this layer. That's fine. And then what do you want to do it as? OK, I'm going to call this sun based just like that. And then here's my destination. Where do I want to duplicate this to? I want to duplicate it to this particular document. That's my Premiere Pro Essentials. Okay, that's great. Or you can do it to a completely new one if you want to, right? So totally up to you. They give you all those choices here buried inside of this dialog box. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, okay. All right, so when I bring it in, I'm going to have a layer of this named Sunburst, right? Here it's not named Sunburst, but now I have an opportunity to do that. And it's going to go over to here to my 
Premiere Pro Essentials document that you just saw, I click OK. And then when I come over to here, you're going to see here is my sunburst. Right? I'll go ahead and just zoom in a little bit. And you're going to see it's actually too big for the canvas. Not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and just zoom out a little bit. You'll be able to see the whole bounding box right there. And then I'll bring that in. I'm just going to do Enter to confirm that, and then Control or Command-0 to get the perfect fit there. Okay, so now I have that there, and it has some nice integrity to it. Okay, that's great. Bring that in. All right, and then I can start playing with this. Okay, and then let's just go ahead and add on a nice little bonus to this lesson, where I kind of want this to be a little bit more interesting. So let's just bring that down a little bit. And then, okay, it's sort of getting better, but you can see my layer management. That really does help. I don't want it to be on top. I want it to be sort of behind this guy, behind these guys, but also blend in nicely with this. Okay, and I'm going to do that in just a second. All right, but just really kind of, you know, take in and integrate what we just did here. Okay, so we worked with duplicating layers on a number of different layer, layer, <laughs> different, different ways. Okay, and as a result, right, we were able to have a lot of different sort of options of what we were going to do, right? Using the keyboard shortcut, right clicking, using other keyboard shortcuts like the Alt key, uh, Controller Command J, all right? And then when we duplicated it using the dialog box, we were able to rename it and then also place it where we wanted to go. And then we also just dragged it up to a tab. So lots and lots of different options for that. Okay, but where's our bonus coming in? All right, we're going to talk more about this in just a little bit, but let me just give you a nice little glimpse into something called blend modes, blend modes, because I want this to blend in nicely with its background, right? You can see I'm kind of covering my PR for Premiere. So I just want you to see here that I have something that's called normal right here, and I also have my opacity up here. We're going to talk all about those in future classes. But this is my blend mode, right? It's going to allow this to blend into its background. And basically, it's going to maybe steal some color, steal some light. Maybe it's going to do the opposite of whatever colors behind it. Maybe it's going to wash something out. It's going to get darker. So many different things can be done with blend modes. This opacity is a very simple one just to basically say, hey, listen, I want this to be a little bit lighter. Right. So it's like, OK, maybe, maybe you're just going to start there. So it's going to be a little more see through, not, not lighter, but more translucent. OK, so really up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and bring this up just so I can show you a little bit about some blend modes. I'm going to go through these relatively quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and click here and we'll just watch what happens as I change each of these. And just notice how it's kind of picking up in a variety of different levels. Right. Like, OK, what is that doing and when am I going to get the look that I'm looking for? Now that's kind of an interesting one. Might be a little bit too much, but you can see, all right. So I might want to find one that's going to be good for me once it comes up. Okay, that's pretty good. It's nice and subtle. And then I can go ahead and make that nice and big and then have that take up, you know, most of the screen there. And then it just kind of washes out. It looks like sort of coming out like the sun. And then, okay, very cool. All right, and it just has a nice little effect there. And it kind of draws your eyes into something. All right, so I did a number of different things there. Okay, I duplicated it, okay, and then I came in to this, and then I worked with my blend mode, and then maybe I'll even work with the opacity a little bit if it's still too shiny, and you're good to go. All right, so you just learned a nice little bonus there that'll set you up for future classes as well, or maybe even future projects that you are working on. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.